Hey everybody, welcome back to the Wolf Pit with another episode of What Are We Eating? I've been eating the Little Tennessee Pride Sausage and Chicken Biscuits for years and I love them. All you gotta do is pop a couple in the microwave and then add a mandatory smear of yellow mustard for the sausage biscuits and a mandatory drizzle of Texas Pete on the chicken biscuits. And it's as easy as that and your day's off to a good start. So when I saw Tennessee Pride now sells full-size Nashville Hot Chicken Biscuits, I had to try them. The Tennessee Pride Nashville Hot Chicken Biscuits are a fully cooked breaded chicken breast patty on a buttermilk biscuit. The four pack costs $5.38 or $1.35 per sandwich, which isn't really bad. As you, the people, have heard me say many times before, when you see the word patty in the description of a product, it's some sort of foreign meat slurry concoction. Sometimes it's a real bad thing because who knows what's been added to the ground meat. But sometimes it's not much different than something like a hamburger patty. All of these ingredients are part of the patty itself, including the breading and the batter. And you can tell because everything is all listed inside the parentheses. Initially, it looked like there were very few ingredients in the chicken meat itself. And there may only be a few. It could just be ground chicken form like a burger but it's kind of hard to tell how they have the ingredients listed. I really don't know, but what I do know is this piece of chicken on this biscuit is not a whole piece of chicken breast. Otherwise, it wouldn't have said patty. Each Nashville hot chicken biscuit has 270 calories, 10 grams of total fat, 5 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 25 milligrams of cholesterol, 790 milligrams of sodium, 32 grams of carbohydrates, 1 gram of fiber, 3 grams of sugars, and 11 grams of protein. Here's our Tennessee Pride Nashville Hot Chicken Biscuit out of the box. Usually I like to dissect the sandwiches before we heat them up, but the directions said to leave it in the wrapper, so that's what I'm gonna do. So it goes into the microwave for 50 seconds. Come follow me on Instagram if you wanna see foods I cook and eat that I don't video and other odd things I might do. You might even get a sneak peek of upcoming videos. After 50 seconds, our Nashville hot chicken biscuit is piping hot and ready to enjoy. And it actually smelled pretty good. Well, that just looks hot. Really? <laughs> you can for real? I was reacting to the size of the chicken patty and the fact that it looked like somebody already took a bite out of it. But once we centered the chicken patty, the chicken to bun ratio was a little bit better. All right, I mean, now it, it fits in the biscuit okay, I guess. We cut it in half to see what the chicken looked like inside, and then of course to give it a try. Is the biscuit hard? Mm, yeah, on the bottom. Just like with most microwave sandwiches, the bottom piece of bread was a little bit hard. The chicken was a little bit stringy, which I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Are you gonna taste it too? No. Why? Because it's hot, I know it's hot. Well, I can't eat it then. You can try it. So Lisa chickened out before I even tried it. She won't try it, but she encourages me to try it. That's typical, everyone wants to laugh at my pain. Which as you guys know, I usually don't eat anything really hot, but I don't think this is gonna be really hot. Sriracha is about as hot as I get. There's what the inside of the chicken looks like, and I've gotta say, it looks like a real piece of chicken. But if that's the case, why are they calling it a patty? Either way, it looks real. It's in my old pie hole it went. It's actually pretty good. It's got a good spice to it. It did indeed have a good spice to it. But the spice didn't really have a lot of flavor. It was just a little bit of heat and not a lot of actual flavor. But the texture of the chicken wasn't too bad. That is until you see this. It looks like a bunch of strings bound together. I wanted to try the chicken by itself. 
after each bite, it continued to get stringier and stringier. It's almost like it's a ball of yarn unraveling. Definitely the weirdest looking chicken I've ever had, but the texture isn't bad at all. And like I said, it has a good heat, but there's no flavor to the heat. And the biscuit is pretty good. It's just your average frozen biscuit. Nothing bad, nothing great. I would prefer to have a regular Tennessee Pride chicken biscuit and then put my Texas Pete on it. That way I get a little bit of heat with flavor. So I wasn't really a big fan of the Tennessee Pride natural hot chicken biscuits. But then again, I'm just a simple man. And that's just a simple man's opinion. I don't think these were bad, but they definitely weren't great. The texture of the chicken looked weird, but it felt like real chicken. The Nashville hot sauce, to me, really did nothing for the chicken. Which is why I'm going to give Tennessee Pride's Nashville Hot Chicken Biscuits an average score of 5 out of 10. Thank you all very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your family and friends. And I'll see you soon.